Hello Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. And of course, if your Sun sign does not resonate, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign. And for love and romance, your Venus sign. Because often these readings contain messages which are important to you at this time as well. So let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading for Gemini. Guidance and messages for Gemini, please, spirit. Guidance and messages for Gemini, please, spirit. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. For a personal reading that is specific to your circumstances, you can visit katytarot.com. All of the information will be there. Be sure to filter the messages through your own intuition that come through with this reading, as that is how spirit communicates with you. You may see an image on one of the cards. You may see a message that really resonates for a situation you have going on right now. Guidance for Gemini. Messages that need to come through for Gemini, please come through now. Your energy, Gemini, the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. We have the energy of the magician around you this week. And this is a really good sign because it indicates that you have the ability to manifest. So your intentions and what you are putting purpose and intention toward this week will have a payoff. There will be a real reality-based manifestation that comes from your intentions. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. So if you want to make something happen this week, Gemini, then you have all the energies supporting you in this endeavor. So that's a really empowered energy to come through to begin your reading. Let's take a look at your next card. Replacing what was lost. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon for you. What I'm seeing here is, Gemini, be careful of stretching yourself too thin this week. I'm seeing that you're going to be pulled in all sorts of different directions. Your, at in mm, your attention will be um, placed in different directions and people will try and pull you off course or you might get distracted so if you're having something, if you've got something in mind and you want to utilize this ma magician energy, um, then be careful not to get pulled off course or stretched too thin, um, multitasking, you know, just stick to what it is you want to manifest, what you want to change, what you want to bring into your reality and you'll be successful in doing that. But there is an energy here warning you that if you are pulled in too many different directions, if that distraction takes place, then you won't be able to or it will be less likely you'll be able to bring into reality what you are hoping for. This card does symbolize that there is abundance on the horizon for you, which may mean that there is more income coming your way. There may be um, in abundance in terms of love, emotions and relationships. Um, so keep a look out for that. I feel that there are stronger connections being made with people this week. The card of awareness. Pay attention to the subtleties. Look with new eyes. There are signs and omens everywhere. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to subtle energies this week, Gemini. Look with new eyes on a situation or in a relationship. 
you'll know where this energy needs to come in because it's a stagnant energy that's been around you. You've, you've been feeling stuck and it's time for a fresh perspective. It's time to look with new eyes upon this uh, relationship or, or this area of your life. There are signs and omens everywhere. That's what it says on this card. So there is going to be a sign, a symbol, a manifestation that comes to you or that you will recognize, I should say, that you will recognize as being significant for you this week, Gemini. And it will be a symbol. It'll be a sign. Um, it'll be a message that's very important to you. It may be an, in a, an answer to a question. It may be uh, clarifying something in your life. It may be about a choice or a decision. You have the energy of the bee, the community. You are a powerful creator. And this is true, Gemini, because when the magician shows up, um, it does mean that, you know, you can, you can change things. You are stepping up into a leadership role within your, your own life. You're a powerful creator. It is a very creative card and energy. So any sort of creative endeavor might be artistic or craft-like for some of you. It may be creative thinking. Um, you may be wanting to structure things differently and be more creative in your life in some way. You know what this is for you. But you are a powerful creator. Do not forget that. Your work blesses everything you touch. So there's a blessing on your work this week, Gemini. Um, and that's paid work, but also the work that you do for yourself around the home in your relationships. There's a blessing on effort this week. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. We have that energy coming in again. So there is a lot of positive energy we've got indicating abundance here with this card and you're the queen of abundance here so something's going to come to fruition something's going to come in it's going to enter your life this week or from when you view this reading in a very strong way in a large amount and be open to receiving sweetness from others and from life in general have the emperor energy here so this is the father archetype you may be having dealings with your father in some way this could be a passed over loved one that is representing you a father type person for you it may be where the signs and omens and symbols are coming from maybe from this father type person logic and organization will increase your success Take charge of the situation, accept a leadership role, structure and discipline. If you're structured, if you're disciplined, if you're organized, you're going to bring about the manifestation or the abundance that you want to bring through to your life. It's really that simple. Gemini, you've got amazing energy here. energy of release something you're, you're having to let go of something here Gemini endings that lead to new beginnings the need to release situations or people that hold you back spiritual transformation this is a Scorpio and this is an Aries so you may have a Scorpio or an Aries around you that you're communicating with I feel that there is going to be an unexpected message or invitation announcement coming your way okay there's going to be something like that coming your way this week Gemini or from when you view this reading and it may be coming from an Aries or it may be coming from a Scorpio we have the seven of air a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom take caution and be aware of others actions and material loss Make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. This can mean that someone is working behind your back, not with your best intentions at heart. So just be aware of this. It may be linked in to this father energy or someone who comes across as quite dominant and masculine. There is a sense here of walking away or running away, as you can see in this image, running away 
from a conversation, running away or blocking communication with someone that you may be needing to release someone or a situation from your life. Um, and you're really you're making that decision and you're going for it. You're walking away. You're running away. The Eight of Water, this also indicates a, an ending, the ending of a cycle here in your life, or it's coming up to an ending very soon. You may be contemplating something, maybe a move, Gemini, or um, it could be a physical move of house or, or office location. It may be a move in a relationship, getting things uh, moving in some way. The need to move on. Seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest. Choosing to make big life changes. And a change in priorities. And you may be leaving your home or leaving your comfort zone in some way. And let's take a look at your last card. We have the four of air. Insights that come from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision mental ex uh, exhaustion and get more sleep so the four of the four of air the four of swords gemini this means that there is a need for downtime and it isn't a time for rushing something it isn't a time for rushing a decision it isn't the time for rushing or moving forward without thinking twice about it it may mean that you have limited communication uh, or less stress around communication this week. It may also be for some of you, I'm seeing that it's time with this, this end of a cycle, the end of energy. So there is an ending coming up for you. It's not just yet from what I can see. For some of you, it's not just yet. Um, it will take a little bit of time to work itself out. But I love this empowerment of the magician and the creativity that it brings to the reading for you. So meditate if you feel that that's what you want to do. You may get some signs, you may get some symbols, you may get some answers through meditation or quiet time with spirit. Be open to change, Gemini. Be open to a change because I'm seeing that you're walking through a different door. You're saying goodbye. You're closing one door. Another door's opening for you, Gemini. And it's coming up very soon for you. Be logical. Be organized. Be structured with this and things will turn out the best way that they can for you. You are a powerful creator. Don't doubt this, Gemini. Do not doubt that you're a powerful creator. And that what you want to manifest in your life, what you want to change in your life can come true. Because I'm seeing it very uh, powerfully displayed here in this, in this reading. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, Gemini. And I'll talk to you all again soon.